This is Black Light. We still don't talking about that black woman. We're calling this one Consumers. Uh, we're going to call the first video I made Consumer One. Black woman, black black woman, consumer one, and then this is black woman, consumers two. See, we consume more than we produce. Uh, here in Detroit, I don't know about elsewhere, but here in Detroit, you could go. In each neighborhood and who's running the businesses is mostly uh, Middle Easterners, Chaldeans, Chinese with the Chinese restaurant and the beauty supply, Caucasians and a speckles of black people and what makes this so uh, so off balance is that it's more blacks occupying Detroit than it is uh, anyone else now the uh, Middle Easterners they moved the Caucasians out of out of Dearborn and we got a lot of Muslims and Chaldeans, what they call Arabs, in uh, Dearborn. And in Oak Park, Southfield, you got a lot of Jews. And in Rosedale, you got what they call Jewish, a, a large Jewish influence. But we have a large black population uh, in those cities I mentioned. Uh, more than you have a Caucasian. The Caucasians, they uh, was out in Groves Point, but the brothers is moving out there. But we don't have no businesses. Uh, very, very few black businesses. That's about anything. So, we don't know how to... Uh, Recycle that dollar. We don't recycle that dollar in our community. Soon as we get in our paycheck, our sisters go to the uh, Chinese beauty supply and uh, they beautify themselves. Then they go and buy some Chinese food. Black people love Chinese food. And uh, then they go to the club. We go to, I don't see, I, I stopped going to clubs, even though I used to be an entertainer. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't participate in club activities. I did my show. And that was it. I didn't drink, smoke. And that's one reason why I quit, because that smoke was getting in my lungs and whatever. And I have allergies, you know? So, we, uh... We spend money in the clubs, popping bottles... And we like to get that, you know, the most expensive drink it is. And ask yourself, uh, who manufactures the, the alcohol? Black people don't have no, no uh, distilleries. So that's another part of our paycheck gone. On the weekends, every weekend. But then we like to go and you know and eat out. And we buy the drugs. Now the brother, where you get your drugs from, might be might be your brother, but he ain't nothing but a distributor. 
he don't bring them in the country. You know. And he gonna do what you do. Uh, he gonna uh, go to the clubs and make it rain. And nine times out of ten, uh, the majority of the time, the club owner up here in Detroit and elsewhere uh, is that Caucasian or Chaldean or other than the black man. But, you know, you got a few brothers that own clubs. But the main thing we own is churches. So, y'all... If y'all strictly uh, Christians, y'all don't go out and party or whatever, drink and get high or nothing. Y'all drop that money in the collection plate at church. You know, you got to buy some, you got to look good going to church though. You got to be super sharp. And we don't manufacture no clothes. Most of them clothes come from China. So you got to be super sharp so you give your money to them again, uh, Korean and China, you know. Because they make, they make your, your sounds, if you get, you got nice sounds in your ride, most of the time it's from overseas in China. <coughs> you got a nice, uh, uh, some sounds at the crib over there, you look at it. Sonya, all those is uh, Asian manufactured devices. All the way down to your computers, even car parts. A lot of your uh, car parts and technology is manufactured overseas. See? And uh, some of it over in Germany. Some over in Japan. All the enemies of the United States we trade with. You know, because one, one time uh, Germany, we had a war with the Germans, right? And you got Volkswagens and, you know, other, other brand name cars uh, made by the Germans, you know. Ain't nothing coming from, from Africa, though. Nothing been being produced from Africa. Now, now, we tricked black women. Consider what I'm saying. Now, look. The, uh, y'all call yourself, when y'all go and fill out an application or any type of, uh, paper and say what what's your what's your nationality or what what color are you ethnic group are you whatever y'all put African American you don't know your language what language you spoke over there in Africa what was your culture over there in Africa You don't know none of that. You know. So if you don't forgot your culture, you know, you don't even know if you even came from Africa. You could have came from right over here in the uh, Americas. Now, what was your culture here in America, in the Native Americans' culture? It wasn't like that of the European, what we're doing now. We didn't talk their language. So you can't even call yourself an American. When you forget your culture, your language, you don't even, you can't call yourself that. Because you're not practicing that. The best name to give yourself is that. The original black man of the planet Earth. Because, you know, you got the, these Caucasians that used to live over there in Africa. 
He was born in Africa. South, South, the South Africans. A member of apartheid. This, this is a guy I know, a Caucasian guy that worked with my wife. That come, that, that came from Africa. He was born over there, South Africa. And he, uh, his citizenship is here in, over here in the United States. And he puts down on his uh, papers, all his legal papers, that he's uh, African American. Because he was born over there. So just because you say you're African American don't mean you're black. And then when you think about it, why should you uh, have to put that down anyway? You know. Right, you got to put that down on your sensors when the sensors come around. What what your ethnic or your color is. But if you was to put down you the original man, it'll blow their mind. They, they can't say nothing. You know. So we gonna get into all this, and uh, I don't want to go over my time. I hope you find this uh, this interesting, and I hope you're thinking about what I'm saying. And uh, because we're gonna give you some alternatives also to where you could come up out of this and be self-sufficient and self-empowering before it's too late. Okay, this is Black Light out.